So these are the first of our stones. We're going to build a stone circle here at the Casa. And this is um, a load of really nice stones that we're going to use to eventually place in the circle. That will probably be after the winter. Right, in the, the spring, yeah. And we have to set the stones in a certain way. Stone circles are, are very ancient forms of, uh, of a variety of things. And uh, so we have to wait for the September, or the... December uh, solstice, solstice uh, yeah, December 21st the win solstice. The winter solstice to be able to set um, the, um, the main stone. And this is one of two victories that we have today. We're going to be showing you a little later on um, the um, solar panels that are up and to um, activate our well, well water. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll have water come up when we turn the solar uh, panel on. Um, this is uh, James and uh, Donna. Donna Gallegos. Uh, James has been helping us clear the um, uh, a lot of the uh, ground for Mother Mary's garden. And, um, Donna is his beloved wife. They work well as a team in their yellow dump truck and his new John Deere backhoe. So anyway, we just wanted to show you that the progress that's being made and the stones that are now being uh, put out here on the Casa. We're excited to get this project going. These stones are from the Chama Valley in Colorado. Um, they've been blessed and they're from a sacred place coming to a sacred place. These are part of the beautiful rocks from the Chama Valley uh, that are going to make up our uh, stone circle. We, uh, we have a couple more on the water. studying as to um, how to place the rocks. It's a very ancient uh, way of doing it. And um, these are my special rocks. <laughs> these I'm attracted to for some reason. So we'll find a good use for those. So we've got our rocks ready for our stone circle after the winter solstice. We've got our hole dug for Mother Mary's statue and four tons of uh, gravel to place there. We have our solar panel up for generate, generating water. Now we don't have to carry it from home. We have our aspen trees ready for their second win winter. fire ceremony pit uh, in the process so um, progress is our I don't know about the middle name but <laughs> we're making progress we're making some progress we're up 166 feet and it still has the um, support on it. Uh, those wood pieces will be gone soon. And now for the test. Now here's Susan to demonstrate how water comes up from a well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you lift. Or, you put that up first? Yeah, you put this up first. Okay. Then you come over here. I've been laughing taking movies because my hands are shaking. <laughs> oh, and then we turn 
this to on. And we hope. I heard the sound. <laughs> no water. No, it's coming. I heard the sound. No water. Yay! 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 Water. <laughs> A little miracle. That's coming up from an aquifer that runs directly under our uh, property, the Casa property. And um, very ancient water, very cool water, uh, very excellent water. Good job, honey. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>